Good morning. The Cassini spacecraft has been orbiting the ringed planet Saturn since 2004. It's made some amazing discoveries about the planet and its rings, its very many moons, but now the spacecraft's mission is about to come to an end. In the past months, Cassini has been performing a series of lasts at Saturn. For example, it's made a last close flyby of Saturn's large moon Titan, which is thought to have liquid hydrocarbon lakes on its surface. And there's also been a last flyby of the Saturn moon Enceladus, uh, which has active geysers, towering plumes of ice, water vapor, and organic molecules spraying from its south pole. Uh, but now Cassini has begun a year-long setup for the mission's daring final year. So what's happening is they're trying to change the tilt of the spacecraft's orbit. And the second of five special maneuvers to do that took place on January 23rd. Each maneuver will increase the tilt of the orbit to get it away from the plane of the rings and the plane of the moons so that the spacecraft by this coming November will be on a path that will carry it above Saturn's poles. And then it will be in place for what scientists call its grand finale event. And for its last act, Cassini is going to plunge repeatedly between the rings of Saturn uh, and the uppermost level of the planet. And finally, it will be directed into Saturn's thick atmosphere, which will end its mission on September 15th, 2017. And speaking of Saturn, you know those five planets in the pre-dawn sky? Well, Saturn is one of them. And if you've never seen Saturn with the eye alone, uh, if you've never been able to identify it, you can let the moon help you do that this week. So the moon is going to be closest to Saturn on Wednesday and Thursday mornings, February 3rd and 4th. Here's the most recent self-portrait mosaic from the Mars Curiosity rover. The rover acquired its own image on January 19th. And in the distance to the right of the camera is what's called Mount Sharp. Uh, that's the central peak of the Gale Crater on Mars, which the rover has been exploring. Um, Andrew R. Brown, who sometimes writes about space missions for Earth Sky, pointed out how dusty the rover is getting. See that red color on all the flat surfaces? That's dust. And yet Andrew told us that all the rover's critical components are keeping clean, the lenses are still clean, and the spacecraft sealants are holding up well. February 2nd is Groundhog Day in North America. It's an event that takes place in Earth's orbit around the sun. Groundhog Day was made famous by the movie with Bill Murray, and here in the U.S., most of us celebrate it with Punxsutawney Phil and Punxsutawney Pennsylvania, which was featured in the movie. But it's really an astronomical holiday. Um, it came to be because February 2nd lies more or less midway between the December solstice and the March equinox. It's what astronomers call a cross-quarter day. So according to tradition, if it's sunny out on this day and the groundhog sees his shadow, we're in for six more weeks of winter, but a cloudy Groundhog Day forecasts an early spring. That's all for today. I'm leaving you with a new NASA animation released this past week. It shows a flight over the dwarf planet Ceres, formerly called Asteroid Ceres. It's the largest body in the asteroid belt. The Dawn spacecraft has been orbiting this little world since March of last year, and these are real images from Dawn. You'll see the most prominent craters on Ceres, which have been named for earthly agricultural spirits, deities, and festivals. Talk to you Thursday.